Here's my room. Over here we have a closet. <gasps> How exciting. I have extra pillows. It's a smallish room, but that's okay. I have one double bed. And then bathroom is in here. Hi. Uh, full length mirror. And then over here, fun thing about Europe, you have to put your key in so you can use the outlets. Without the key, no power in your room. So this is my little home for the next couple days. This is the Holiday Inn in Watford Junction. And I'm gonna unpack. Just walking through the neighborhood. Went to the grocery store called Sainsbury's. Headed back to my hotel. It's the first night. And look at this quaint little street. Ugh, I am dying. I am in Watford Junction. I believe it's on the north side of London. So yeah, everybody's just walking home. Like look at this quaint little neighborhood. All right, we're gonna go back to the hotel. Okay, I went to Sansbury's. I think I told you that. I'm getting ready to read my book. I'm tired. I got some tandoori chicken. I think these are chicken thigh. Yep, char grilled tandoori chicken thigh. These cost eh. two pounds. It's about $2 US. I got some carrots and hummus. That was $1.15. I got a bottle of water, which is $1.10 pounds. A uh, little bottle of wine for later. This is like a single serve of uh, some Shiraz. And I think this was like dollar eighty. And then I got some Twinings tea, Earl Grey Dark. I love Earl Grey, so I want to try the dark. Altogether, I spent eight pounds five pence, which is about nine dollars US, something like that. So not terrible. I will have some dinner, some snacks, and then I'm probably going to get to bed soon. Unless I get a second wind. Who knows? I don't know. Let's try this tandoori chicken, though. So I don't have a refrigerator in this room, so I will need to eat this, which is why I just got some hummus to go with it. A couple carrots for some vegetable. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good. It's um, Indian spices. It says best served hot. Well, I'm having it cold because that's how I roll. Oh. And water. I've not had enough water today. That's really good. Very tender. They had a whole section of like just individual little servings of stuff. Under here, sorry, I didn't get a napkin. I have a tea kettle. I'm gonna have some of my Earl Grey later. But let's try this. Carrot with hummus. Now, mm, that's really good. I can't have too much hummus because it's, um, it's a bean. So a lot of carbs, but a couple bites will not hurt me. And my water must stay hydrated. All right, I'm gonna have dinner, read my book, and see what I get into. If not, I'll be up bright and early to go get coffee and breakfast. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs>
guys, we're at my hotel and I am legitimately in the maid's quarters. And I love it. That's my room, LL1. And we go up these little stairs. Ooh. Open the door. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta put the key in. And that's it. It's a bed, a twin bed, a view. This little cabinet here has my tea service on it. And then we come in. There's my TV and an air conditioner, and this is where I would get ready. I'm not sure where my luggage is going just yet. Oh, I have the heat on in here, I don't know why. And then that's the bed, it's a twin. And this is my refrigerator. In here I picked up a few things. It's Sunday, so I'm not sure what kind of food situation I have. Here's my closet, which I'll put some clothes away in there and the bathroom. So I have a little tiny sink, a decent size shower, a toilet, and that's it. That is my entire room. Can you believe it? I love it. Just walking down the street in this residential neighborhood. How exciting.
All right, everybody, this is Buckingham Palace. And the king is in residence right now. You can tell by the flag that's flying. That is the royal standard. If it was the British flag, then he would not be here. So he is somewhere in that building or around. How exciting. Here we have the Victoria and Albert Museum that I did not visit, but now I've seen. Yay!